years now. It's an ingredient that's become a major part of our lives. We, of course, put it in our tea. We also put it on our food, and it helps soothe us when we are sick. And we are talking, of course, about honey. This sweet substance is truly in a class all its own. And joining us this morning to talk all about it is Marina Marchese. She's the designer and beekeeper behind the brand Red Bee Honey. Welcome. Thanks for being here this morning. Thank all you right. for having so me. So you know everything and anything there is to know about honey. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I started out as a designer and uh, I stumbled on beekeeping and then nothing changed. I was an author and I started my own honey company, Red Bee Honey. So it all kind of just skyrocketed from there. It all just happened. All I right. got stung by a bee and yes, that's you, it. All right, yes, you literally did, all right. So now there's a lot to know about honey. Really, as I said, it is in a class all its own. Tell us a little bit about the history of it all because it goes back a long thousands time of ago, years. thousands of years ago. Yeah, well, honey was very respected in the Greek and Roman times and uh, they were the first beekeepers and you know it was a symbol of love and beauty and fertility and um, it's appropriate for Valentine's Day. It certainly is, yes. All right, so there's a couple things we're gonna talk about here, some facts and myths which people really may not know. The first one, does honey ever spoil? Honey is the only food that never spoils and wow. it never needs refrigeration. All right, good to know. So it can literally last forever, forever. Out, out, outlive us. It will outlast us. They found honey in the tombs of the Egyptians and uh, it's still edible. Wow, because I have to say, I mean, I have found honey in my house, you know, it's been sitting there probably for two years and you yeah. get rid of it thinking it's not good, but it's still good. Absolutely. If it's stored correctly at room temperature somewhere in your kitchen is perfect. Um, and if honey crystallizes, it doesn't mean that it's spoiled. Good honey, good quality honey crystallizes naturally. And if you like, you can just spread it on bread or toast, but you can also just melt it gently by uh, putting the, the jar in some warm water and letting it sit. All right, good to know. And then the other thing too, um, bees, they don't really make a lot of honey in their lifetime individually. Yes, yeah, so a honeybee only lives about six weeks in their very short life and they literally work themselves to death. So a female worker bee, which are the ones that make the honey, it's the females, make about a 12 of a teaspoon of honey in their entire life. And wow. here I have what a 12 of so a teaspoon. So right here, this, this little jar is, is, is 1 12th. This is the life of a bee. This is how much they make. So real true honey is very precious. Oh, I didn't know that. That's very interesting. So they work very hard and then th their life is over basically. Right. Making and we honey get to us. enjoy the fruits enjoy of their the labor. Enjoy the benefits. <laughs> All right, very good. So you actually have a, something that we can make here today. It's um, a honey struck chocolate truffle. It's a yes. no cook. So it sounds delicious. Tell us what's inside of it and then we're gonna show the end result. So this is a very simple ingredient um, recipe that you could make, you know, at home. It takes about 20 minutes once you get all the ingredients together and it's a truffle, a chocolate truffle. Right. Very, very easy. And we're going to start with about a cup of almonds. Here I have sliced almonds, but you can also do it with uh, whole almonds because what you're going to do is just put those almonds right into a food processor. So it's all going to get ground down anyway. You're going to grind it all down into sort of a paste. And then you're going to take about five or six dry dates. You're going to pit them, put them into the food processor with the almonds, and you're going to grind it into a paste. You can add about a pinch of salt, a teaspoon of coconut butter, some powdered cacao chocolate. You can get that anywhere in the grocery store okay. in the baking section. And of course, we're going to add some honey. You have to add the honey in there. I suggest a darker honey, and we're going to use buckwheat today because buckwheat, um, the flavor profiles are very chocolatey and uh, coffee and cacao, so it merges really well with the chocolate and it makes the truffle delicious. So use the dark honey, all right. And then once you put that all in the food processor, this, this is, is what, what you're, you're going to get. If the camera can get that there, a shot of that. That's what it looks like, all right. I think they're working on it. And then now, what do you do from here once you have this? So once you get the consistency of a cookie dough, you're going to make your truffle. So you can take a little pinch. You can do it with me. I'm going to do it with you, yes. And you're just going to roll it like you're doing Play-Doh. Very simple. And this is something someone can do for Valentine's Day, even with the kids as, as something. It's Absolutely. obviously a lot of fun. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Then we can roll it in some coconut. This is just little coconut pieces. And then... And voila, you and have a I delicious trussle. You're not supposed to eat on TV, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> How could you it's not? It's very good and it's very simple. All right, so while I eat this here, we want to talk about some events you have coming up. The first one is a honey tasting. Tell us about it. 
I have uh, a honey tasting that I'm doing uh, at the Carriage Art Barn in New Canaan on March 26th, and it's going to be a tasting of three different kinds of honeys from around the country. And I'm also pairing up with a chef, um, Chef Sylvia from New Canaan, and she's going to be doing some cooking with my honeys. All right, very good. And you don't have the time yet, but you'll have all that on your website, yeah. and we'll have a link to that on ours. And then finally, you have something on Valentine's Day. On Valentine's Day, this uh, Saturday, up at uh, Benedict's Home and Garden in Monroe, I'm going to be signing copies of my book, The Honey Connoisseur and Honey Bee. And they'll be doing a talk on beekeeping. So if anyone's interested in getting into beekeeping and making your own honey, that's a perfect time to come by around 1 o'clock. All right, very good. There is certainly a lot to know about Honey Marina. Thank you so much. And those truffles are delicious. People can obviously get the recipe and more information.